Senator Roberts. Thank you, Chair. Thank you again for being here. Thank you again. Um, now, you and the government claim that atmospheric carbon dioxide levels are detrimentally affecting climate and that as a consequence, carbon dioxide from human activity mm -hmm. needs to be cut, necessitating cuts in use of gas, petrol, coal, oil, diesel, farm grazing of cattle, sheep, pigs. Given what you claim about carbon dioxide from human activity, could you please provide on notice me with the total number of Bureau weather stations from which weather data is collected for BOMB to use, or Bureau to use, mm -hmm. both those that the Bureau operates and, those, and other individuals or entities operate? And of them, the number that measure atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. Okay. And could Probably you pro answer that now, Senator? That sure. The CO2 levels uh, for our region are measured at, uh, at Canelk, Cape Grim, Northwest Tasmania. So that's where that's one of three, I think, global baseline uh, CO2 measuring stations. So that's where so those given that stations measure. There are many, many, many pieces of equipment in the field that measure local CO2 emissions for all sorts of reasons. But in terms of the global baseline station, that is at Cape Grim, Kenilk. I want to know how many stations you have, how many mm -hmm. your okay. colleagues, we'll, we'll take it on that and how many uh, measure carbon dioxide levels. Yeah. And could you provide the locations of any other entities, stations, the measuring carbon dioxide levels whose data that the Bureau relies upon for its climate reports and claims, both within mm -hmm. Australia and overseas? You already mentioned three. Mm -hmm. So that won't be a problem. Now, if you look at the document I've tabled. I'm sorry, I'm not in receipt of, I'm now in receipt. I'll look at it. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Do you ever want to talk to it? Yeah, these are graphs from uh, the source, source data is Scripps Institute and CSIRO. Um, these are atmospheric carbon dioxide levels mm -hmm. measured at those, state, at those 11, 10 points, sorry, around the world. Now, it's claimed, uh, Dr Johnson, that we need to cut the level of carbon dioxide in Earth's atmosphere, and to do that, we must cut carbon dioxide from human activity, correct? That's what the claim is. Senator, I'm uh, not in a position to pass an opinion on that. Um, okay. Correct that to the department. All I can tell you is that um, our measurements of the changes that are occurring in the atmosphere uh, uh, it couldn't be clearer in terms of the trends we're observing. And our science, I want to ask you about those trends. And, and our science uh, is very clear that the causes of those trends are human activities, to a very large extent, are human activities. Thank you. Thank you. So you claim that cutting carbon di human production of carbon dioxide will cut atmospheric carbon dioxide no, levels? We, we, just to reaffirm, it's not our role to do that. Our role is to measure the atmospheric and oceanographic and, in some cases, terrestrial phenomena. We've never made such claims. All we've said is so that, you don't, that, that you... all of these parameters are rising and that the cause of that increase, to a very large extent, predominant extent, is human activity. That's all we've said. So car carbon dioxide from human activity is and, causing a and, rise and in other, atmospheric carbon dioxide. And other, and other emissions, methane and so on. Okay. Are causing the escalation in ocean and atmospheric temperatures. So in 2009, after the global financial crisis, and in 2020 during the COVID lockdowns, we experienced severe global recessions. Mm -hmm. During those recessions, energy use fell dramatically. And the use of hydrocarbon fuels like coal, oil and natural gas for transport, residences and industry was cut severely, leading to dramatic reductions of carbon dioxide from human activity. Mm -hmm. Yet despite those cuts in human carbon dioxide production, atmospheric carbon dioxide levels continued rising. Correct. Yet all the scripts and CSIRO measurement stations reveal no decrease or downward inflection, just continued rise in atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. Mm -hmm. This real-world empirical evidence Proves that, carbon, carbon, proves that drastic cuts in carbon dioxide from human activity have no effect on atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. Making the drastic cuts is pointless and damaging economically and socially. On notice, could you please specify the dates, quantity and duration of any inflections or downturns on those yeah. graphs? I'm happy to, Senator, but very quickly with the Chair's Thank indulgence. You. The premise of your question is false. It is a well-established fact that um, the consequences of human activity have long lag periods between when they occur and when they are observed in the atmosphere. So even if CO2 emissions were to stop today, the, the, the atmosphere uh, is loaded 
as is the ocean, and it will take centuries for that signature to work its way through. So hence, hence the urgency around, around the, uh, the challenge to reduce emissions now. Thank you. How well is carbon dioxide uh, mixed in the atmosphere? How well is it mixed? How, how well mixed is I'm it? I'm not an expert on carbon okay. dioxide atmospheric mixing. How does it so vary temporarily, temporarily, spatially, and with regard to surface cover, for example, vegetation type? I'd have to take that on notice. I'm not an expert in those matters. Okay. Could you, the, the next question on notice as well. Given that the atmospheric carbon dioxide levels over... I want to get this uh, to un make sure I've got the question right for Dr Johnson. Given that the atmospheric carbon dioxide level... I'll put the other two on, on notice after this. Given that the atmospheric carbon dioxide levels over a short term and without spatial and temporal context have, increasingly, have increased substantially, what impact has this, this had on global and national atmospheric temperatures? Specifically, what is the rate of temperature increase over the period 1995 to today? Again, you're asking me a specific question on a specific set of dates. I don't have that number. No, no, me. on notice. I'm happy for you to do that. If, if we have you, that data, you, I'll provide it. Sure. I'm sure you've got the temperature data. Could you please specify in your answer the statistical methods and procedures, as well as the data periods and sources of data? Could you please uh, use the global and atmos national atmospheric temperature data from the following sources? The Bureau of Meteorology, obviously, atmospheric temperature data for Australia and the world. Senator Roberts, you can log to in writing yeah. if you would like, and I wonder if you're asking for an answer. You probably shouldn't specify where they get the data from. It would be entirely no, up there if you're asking. I, I'm, not, I'm not specifying the data. I just want some alternatives because there, there's variation. But I, I will uh, speed you up, Senator Roberts. We are I'm happy to put them on notice. That I'll be also lovely. be asking you for NASA's University of Alabama Huntsville and RSS data as well. Uh, you probably best direct your questions about NASA data to NASA, Senator. Okay.